Now, when the British Navy got up here, now you would think they're going to attack Washington. No. Now they're heading to Baltimore. Francis Scott Key, he's on a ship with a man named John Skinner, who is in charge of prisoners of war. And he meets up with the British Navy while they're moving to Baltimore. They take and make him a prisoner. They hold him against his will. Every minute during that 25 hours, except for two intermissions, there were four to five of these 200 pound exploding bombs in the air. So it was about 1,800 bombs not counting about 800 rockets, and then not counting the regular cannons that they had. This went on for the 25 hours. The next morning, by Army regulation, 7 o'clock in the morning, the bombardment stopped. He took a piece of paper out of his jacket pocket, and he said that his heart just spoke, and he began to write down. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. It was under those conditions that our national anthem came about. And it shows the ability of our young nation to defend itself in the odds of extreme pressure and adversity. And that has continued to this day.